Still Alaska, Fox News analyst Sarah Palin. So, Governor, let's start with Social Security. What would you do there? Uh, yeah, entitlement programs have to be reformed. Um, you know, they're going to eat our lunch. They will certainly consume our entire federal budget by the year 2035 unless we reform. First of all, we have to assure those who are of retirement age now who are reliant upon that pension plan of theirs. A pension is a promise, and we can't take away what it is that uh, was essentially confiscated from their paychecks by the government um, in every paycheck. And uh, with trust, they allowed the government to invest their monies, and now they believe that it, it, it's time and it is time for them to be able to collect but for new enrollees everything changes everything must change what's the cutoff and, uh, what's the, the cutoff age, uh, age? What, what would you, you say new enrollees well, does that mean <clears throat> we cut it off at 30 do we cut it off at 21 what what is the cutoff age for the new social security scenario well, when we talk about specifics of the reform that is needed, when we talk about uh, increasing that retirement age, I would say that uh, Paul Ryan's roadmap uh, can nail it um, quite accurately when he talks about age 55 being a cutoff age. But what we also need to do is wait, not wait, assume wait, wait, that wait, wait, government... Wait, 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 wait. I just want to be very clear. So 55, anybody over, keeps the Social Security that they have coming to them. But younger... When we... Whatever the revision is. When we is? talk about increasing, when we talk about increasing the retirement age, there is a good proposal on the table, a good idea to look at age 55. But all of this does have to be looked at. But we need to quit assuming that government can better than we as individuals plan our retirements for us and our securities okay, and our I, savings. Okay, I got all, I got all that. But I, I, I got to get to... specific here, Governor. All right. So what you're saying is instead of 52, it goes to 55. So you can't draw on it till 55. Some people want mandatory retirement age where you would have to stake it. Raise Raised up to about 67. Are you for that? Do you want to raise that mandatory age to 67 retirement? Is everything, everything is going to have to change for those who are enrolled in the program now and will be enrolled in the program now. But we do not change the pension benefits uh, of agree. those who are receiving the them now. And that's where people and are people who need And I really it. apologize right. that up here in Alaska we have this four-second de uh, delay, so it's it's not an easy okay. exchange to try to. To try to get my point across to you if you interrupt. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue this thought on reform of entitlement programs. What we need to do is allow some personal accounts with part of that Social Security tax for new enrollees, allow them to keep more of what they're earning and invest according to their priorities and not assume that government can plan our economy, our retirements, our security for us. Okay, that's I, I'm for that private thing, and I'm for raising the ages. Now, in your state, a lot of people depended on Medicaid, uh, particularly people in the subarctic region uh, up there, and they're dependent on these government checks. You had to deal with that when you were the governor of Alaska. So we're going to have to cut back there. Poor people are going to get hurt. Poor people are going to get hurt in the Medicare and Medicaid range, are they not? Everything is going to have to change. Look, how can Michael Moore, for instance, as, as you had said in your introduction, is tell Americans that we're not going broke? We take in $2.2 trillion a year, and yet we're paying out $3.5 trillion a year. What's in the water there in Hollywood and in D.C. for people to not want to understand or believe? Or, well, he's just or, not a truthful. Um, they're just not the truthful is. people. They're just not telling the truth. They're not the truthful. Truth. So we have to be truthful, and we have okay, to but let's deal get to the reality. Poor people. Reality is we are are going bankrupt and the only way that we're going to get out of the problem that we face is to cut is to cut budgets but let's, is to reform entitlements and then to start a pro growth agenda that's based on cutting taxes and incentivizing production and tapping our energy sources and again stop assuming that government can plan our economy for us okay but what about the poor people who absolutely need the entitlements they get you know in your state there are a lot of people on the dole. A lot. There so are will, you gonna cut there will always, are you gonna cut the subsidies going to people earning, say, less than fifteen thousand a year? Is that gonna happen? There is a need there is a need for a safety net for those who are um, a disadvantaged. And in some of the rural communities in Alaska where there's, there is a disadvantage and there needs to be a safety net. But you know why there's a disadvantage here in Alaska? 
because the federal government has locked up our lands and not allowed us to tap into energy sources so that we can create more jobs. Less than 1% of Alaskan land is in the private sector hands. Now, we asked the federal government, and I've sued the federal government, for allowance to be able to develop more so that people aren't of this entitlement mentality where they believe that the only way that they can get out of a disadvantaged stage is to have government provide for them. If we had a robust economy here and all across the country, then we wouldn't have to be looking at these insolvent entitlement programs that, yeah, when, when we start pulling the plug on some of them, there is going to be a shared burden across our country. No, some people People are just, you think it's got to be a cutoff date for Medicare and Medicaid as far as uh, income level is concerned. Hey, Governor, always a pleasure to talk to you. Stay warm up there in Alaska, and we appreciate you taking the time. Next on the